Well, uh, howdy, uh, folks. This is Daniel St. Pierre with Cybergenica and Glorious Media. And today, I'm going to show you how to mine Bitcoin using ASIC USB block eruptors and Bitminter. Here's what the app looks like when it's running. You'll notice that I have five block eruptors running and that this computer's CPU and GPU are not compatible with Bitminter. So I'm only hashing with the ASIC block eruptors right now. Let's take a look at how I got here, shall we? First, even though it's not necessary at this point, you need a Bitcoin wallet address to get paid if or when you mine enough Bitcoin to withdraw your bounty from BitMinter. To get a free Bitcoin wallet address, as well as Litecoin and Ethereum, well, visit Coinbase.com or click the link in the video description. If you need a little help, getting that Bitcoin wallet address. There are countless videos on YouTube to help you do that. It's as simple as logging into Coinbase, visiting the tools section, and clicking the create new address link. Make sure to add a label so that you know where you are using that Bitcoin wallet address moving forward. Next, you'll need to download drivers for your block eruptors from the Silicon Labs website. Again, the link is in the video description, so help yourself to the driver that corresponds to your machine, i.e. PC, Mac, or Linux. Once downloaded, unzip and install the drivers by running the driver installation file. I have a 64-bit version of Windows, so I'll launch the 64-bit installer. As you can see, I've already installed drivers, and so in my case, there were no updates required. Once you successfully installed your block eruptor drivers, well, check your devices to ensure that they're working properly. And in my case, I have five ASICs connected, and each one is a OK. -okay. Now, before you can install BitMentor, you'll need Java on your machine in order to run the BitMentor client application. Most computers already have Java installed, but in the event you do not already run Java on your machine, you can download it free at java.com. Now, if you downloaded and installed Java, you'll need to reboot your machine before taking the next step. After rebooting, if necessary, visit the bitminter.com website and log in using your Google ID or OpenID if that's your preference and download and run the BitMinter client app from the bitminter.com website under tools, BitMinter client, and I choose the auto update version, but you can download any version you like. When your download is complete, run the BitMinter client installer. And once that's done, run BitMinter, type in your username and start using your devices. And there you have it step-by-step -step tutorial how to mine Bitcoin using an ASIC USB block eruptor and BitMinter. I hope you enjoyed the video in the event that you did. Do hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe for more cryptocurrency videos in the near future and so that you are the first one to find out when I do come across legitimate cryptocurrency gems. And as always, feel free to share and comment. Thanks for watching and until next time, may God bless you and yours as you strive to bring Him glory with your life.